Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, and today I am out here with Mike, Texas Fishing Force. I don't know if you can see him back over there. I got my Corona mask on. He does. We are not six feet apart, but it's okay. We are both asymptomatic because we can't catch nothing out here today. <laughs> no, that's just a joke. But hey, thanks for coming back. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And check out Mike, Texas Fishing Force, a.k.a. Japanese semi-pro midget tosser yeah. right midget tossing yeah, yeah. anyway check him out his link is below as well keep your fingers crossed hopefully you catch me hooking up a lot of movement a lot of, a lot of bait I haven't seen much today. A couple predator fish getting scared, or maybe one or two legitimate blows, blow ups, but about it right at sunrise. Water's pretty dirt, dirty. I just had a lot of rain yesterday, so I was kind of curious to see what it was going to do to the fishing. Typically, I don't do, I don't have such good luck in the marsh right after it rains. So, this little guy blown up on bait. Uh, little chicky poo. Smashing bait on the side over there. Man, nice to feel somebody bite <laughs> man I am not going to be picky today because it is so slow going out here today right there side of the mouth oh, almost the side of the mouth bite and fight angler let that little guy go my little Mini, mini red. Let's see him blown up on the side right here, and I really thought it was a flounder. All right, let me just interrupt this video right here. Now, I just changed the battery in my GoPro, and I accidentally bumped, touched, changed one of the features on it, so it recorded in a time lapse. But it has been several hours and I hadn't caught a fish, so I wanted to share these two catches with you. Now these were back-to-back -back catches. What I was doing, if you watched my last couple of videos on showing you easy tips, easy way to fish, fishing hot zones, then this is one of them. I cast to a soft shoulder and it had a drop off and I was fishing a small channel that was intersecting two bodies of water and then I got smashed. This was a fight and bite angler. Lure has a nice movement, nice tail action. This is about 21 and a half inch red. Casting into the deeper channel, it drops off from about two to four feet. Solid hit. This red just barely touched 20 inches. All right, so 
So then I realized that was on a time lapse. But just caught that red on this voodoo shad. It was just under 20. Another kayaker out here just caught a, another red. So we got a couple reds right here. But this is an intersection and intersections are great to try to target any kind of fish. You have a lot of bait in the water and you also have some water movement with this wind. There we go. Ah! Pull the hook. Ah, I pulled the hook on that one. It happens. Ah. There we go. Got him. Ooh! He knows he's hooked now. Keep it tight. Oh yeah, this is should be a good one. Should be a good guy. Oh. Oh. Let him run a little bit. Yeah, this is a healthy guy. Healthy guy. And he is just pulling. Pulling, pulling, pulling. Keep tension on the line. Just let him run when he wants to run. No reason to, no reason to break off, or even chance of breaking off. Just take your time, don't panic. <clears throat> Get a tire out. Oh, run it at me. Let's see. Get his head out. Is he done yet? Is he done yet? He might be done. He might be done. Oh! <laughs> oh. <sighs> He's a good one. Man, got him on that voodoo shad. Got him on that voodoo shad. Got him on that voodoo. Golly. He's a healthy guy. Nice healthy guy right here. Voodoo shad down his throat. It looks like it. I hope not. Hope oh, it's not too bad. I'll put him on this board. Get him secured. He is 26 and a quarter. 26 and a quarter. Man, that's a nice fish. Man. He just skinned him. He soaked it just by the skin. There we go. There's the bait. 
Voodoo Shad. Let this guy go. Oh. You ready? I never be ready, my man. There you go. Yes. Uh. Right underneath the kayak. <laughs> it's about time. Famous words, right? I'm not talking to Mike anymore. <laughs> you come cut my line, <laughs> that was a good one. Mike jinxed me. What did you say? I said, don't lose that fish. Oh my God, Mike. No, it was my fault. I adjusted the drag, took my hand out the knob, and he came right back at me. I felt it. As soon as I wanted to adjust it, I said, oh, it was too late. What the heck was that? Woo, that gave me a heart attack. He bit my shoelace. <laughs> Little speckler. So hey everybody, that's gonna wrap it up. Came out today, do a little kayak fishing. Met up with a few friends of mine and Mike with Texas Fishing Force. Came out, caught a few reds. It was nice to be able to target a species and land a few of those guys. I did have two get off and that really hurt. I ended up being one short of having my limit, but I wasn't keeping any fish today. But yep, yeah, that's going to pretty much do it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Hit that bell notification to let you know the next time I upload a video. Until next time, hopefully you catch me. Hook it up. Thanks.